In this part of the exercise, we're going to use Photoshop to create some content. We're going to create a green ball and we're going to give it a little bit of a 3D look using the gradient tool. And I've got a completed one here on screen. Uh, and then when we're finished with this, we'll save it as a PNG 24 and we can apply it inside of one of our games that we'll create using Game Salad. So let me start with a new file here. Um, you can see that it's a green ball on a transparent background and that's what we want to achieve. So again, when we're creating graphics for game salads specifically, it's best to do them twice the intended size. And if possible, make the size dimensions multiples of four. For example, four by four, 16 by 16, 32 by 32, 64 by 64, 128 by 128, etc. So we're going to do one intended to go into the size in game salad to be used at a 64 by 64 pixel size. So I'm going to create a new file that will be twice that size. I'm going to go new. I'll call this green ball. And I've already got the numbers in here, but width 128 by 128 height, resolution 72. Make sure background content is checked to transparent. So 128 by 128, transparent background, click OK. So that gives us our empty slate here. You can zoom in with the Command Plus if you like and zoom out with Command Minus. And go to your elliptical marquee tool. If it's not on the top, just click down and hold and it'll be in the group here. And then basically going up to the top left corner, just coming inside a little bit, hold your shift key down, click and drag, and it'll create a perfect circle and just drag it to the bottom, but not past. So keep it inside of the box. So I'll say that's good. Then we're going to set a foreground color and the background color to give this ball a 3D look as if it's being lighted. Now again, I've already got my colors here, but you go down to the color chip, click on the foreground, that'll be the highlight color. Choose a green and then choose a tint of that green. So let's say that's going to be my lightest color. I click OK and then click on the background chip. And again, going inside the greens, just choose a much darker version of that green and click OK. Then we use the gradient tool to generate this, and the gradient tool is over here. Again, if it's not at the top, it would be under the paint bucket. It's in the same group, so choose gradient tool. And then up at the top, we need to make a couple of settings. You need to make sure that you're on radial gradient as opposed to linear. And in this first box where you see colors, I can click the arrow, and you want to choose the first box, which represents foreground to background color. Double click it. And at this point, you want to click where the highlight is. So I would say in the upper left quarter area, you can see where my cursor is. I click and drag. Don't click to the edge, but click to about 90% of the way to the edge on the bottom right. Release it. And there you go. You've got what looks like a, a sphere. You can just deselect by going back to your selection tool, marquee tool, and clicking away. Or you can go... Command D to deselect. And again, that is inside of an image size, 128 by 128 pixels. So the last thing I need to do now is just save this as a PNG 24 file. And the way we do that is we go to File, Save for Web. Brings up this dialog box. Make sure your preset is set to PNG 24 then you just need to save it and allocate a location. So I click Save. It asks, where do you want to save? I've got a folder here, and I believe I have a, another folder called Assets, which I'll double click on that. Under here, just make sure it's Images Only. And there we have it. We'll be saving this inside of a folder called Assets. Save. There we go. And if I click out to my desktop, I can see inside of assets that I currently have that file right there. 
And that's what we'll ultimately bring in to Game Salad to use as one of our graphics. So I'd like you to do that now using Photoshop. And once it's saved, we'll bring it over into Game Salad and start to create a simple game.